Welcome to the fourth tutorial on beginning HTML. Today we're going to look at creating a table using HTML. Now when you're dealing with large amounts of tabular data, tables are definitely the way to go to display this information. And it's a quick and easy way for your users to understand the data you are displaying. Now again, we will create these in HTML and later I will teach you how to stylize these using CSS to give them an awesome look. Now, tables are like normal tables. They are made up with data that contain rows and columns. And of course, rows go side to side and columns go downwards. Now, there are four central elements to use when creating a table. First is the table element, which everything is embedded inside of. Then there is the TR element, which identifies it as a table row. And then there is the TD element, which contains the actual data. And furthermore, the TH element identifies it as a column. So let's go through all of these right now. Okay, so first we will create the table element. And we identify this as a table with a closing and ending table tag. And let's set up the column first. So we will use a TR element tag. And then, like I said, we will actually create the columns using the TH tag. And we're going to call this the planets. And let's make two more columns. We'll have another one called the oceans. And we will create another column called the deserts. Now let's create some data to put in those columns. So again, we're going to use the table row tag to create a table row. Now you might be wondering why we used a table row tag for the column. And the reason is it is still a table row. If you think about it, it still goes sideways. This just identifies it as a column. Okay, so we're going to create again the table row to, to hold our data. And we're going to use the TD tag now to hold our data. And the first piece of data we will store is called Earth. That is obviously a planet and we will close that. And so this table data space will correspond with this first column. It goes in a top down order. So again, this data will correspond with this column. It is the first position within these TR elements. That's how it lines up. So just keep that in mind. So the next cell will contain an ocean and we're going to call this the Pacific. And then the next cell will contain data that will have a desert and we will call that the Sahara. And again, we need to close this and actually, you know what? I forgot to close these. So let's go ahead and close these. And now let's go ahead and save this and we will open this up. And there you can see, here are our columns. You'll notice that the columns are put in bold by HTML and the tables are not in bold. So just keep that in mind. Now, let's say we wanted to add another desert, another ocean, another planet. We can do that relatively simply. We just go back into our source code and we will copy and paste this and create a completely new row. And here we will put in Pluto. Who knows if Pluto is still a planet, but we're going to say it is. We will put in the Atlantic for the ocean. And for the desert, we will put in the Gobi Desert. And you can see how these align again. So it's always this first position. So the planets are here. The oceans are in the second position. And the deserts in the third position. Okay, let's go ahead and save this now. And we will render this again. And there you can see we've got our new row with our new data. Now, when we get to CSS, as I said before, we will stylize these and we can create menus off of this. We can create shopping carts to do totals, all kinds of things with tables. Okay, that's going to do it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next HTML tutorial.